Hey YouTube, Logan with Hideaway Homestead coming to you today with a video on the Muscovies and I'm really just going to be talking in this video for several reasons. Um, not going to be showing any of the Muscovy ducks or really uh, the process of what I did today. Um, I just ate like literally maybe two, three minutes ago, just got done eating one of my Muscovy ducks. I, I think in the last video I mentioned that we had eight males and two females and so had to get start I've ha I'm having to start get rid of some of these guys because it's not fair to the females and it's not fair to them to have them running around and beating up on each other and um, as they uh, get closer to sexual maturity the males harassing the females like we, we don't want that so I'm gonna have to really thin out the flock and um, I'm trying to think really where to start here uh, may, mainly I'll explain why it is that I didn't video the process of uh, killing the duck and uh, process it and everything and then cooking it and all that stuff is because this was my first time ever doing a duck I've processed a lot of different animals uh, never done a duck had to get in there and uh, most animals are all this are close to the same you know they all have uh, bones joints uh, tendons and muscle and skin and fat I mean you know they're, they're all pretty straightforward but um, just learning where those joints are and feeling of the animal and, and figuring everything out it was a little bit of a slow process so it wouldn't be like I was really teaching y'all anything on, on how to do it there is uh, some really good videos uh, if you don't know the far or the uh, YouTube channel, um, Farmstead uh, Meat Smith, uh, he has some videos on processing Muscovy ducks that are excellent. I mean, I could never do anything as good as he's got. Uh, guys really switched on to uh, how to process uh, animals humanely, how to dispatch them, and 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 get the most out of the animal. I am nowhere near the the um, uh, processor and butcher that he is, so um, you know, just doing it on the on the first time with the duck was, was not going to be anything I think that was really helpful to y'all. Uh, the other reason is is it being my first time. I really like for animals to uh, you know to end their life as fast as they can, or as fast as I can when um, I'm killing them. Uh, just because I don't want them to go through any pain or suffering. I like for all my animals to be happy and to uh, not cause them pain. So I didn't want to be trying to video it and worrying about that and uh, taking out the animal. So um, basically what I did was I grabbed up underneath his beak and slit his throat and then had him bleeding out and cracked his neck. And it went pretty good. I mean, I feel like I could have been a little bit faster at it. Um, and then... You know, he went into the death throes, had to hold him down and make sure that he uh, didn't flop all over the place. And uh, then I got into the process and, and uh, on Farmstead Meatsmith's channel, he shows, he, he, he plucks the bird, he does everything, he uses every ounce of it. Um, another guy that I, I follow had... Uh, done his just basically by taking the breast out. He explains, you know, just take the breast out and take the legs off because that's where the majority of the meat is. And as I opened the animal up, I realized that was true. I really hated to not use the skin, but considering that I'm not uh, an expert at processing the ducks and I don't have a picker, um, I, I, I need to get better at that as I go. But that being said, I did get, you know, I'd say 90% of the meat because it, they just have so much on their breasts and on their legs. Um, the cat, of course, got the rest of it, so it's not like it went to waste, and everything that we uh, don't use on it will go into compost or to feed worms or to feed a tree. But uh, to talk about the meat a little bit, I, got, I, cut, I, I cut the bird open, and I wish I would have took more pictures because I have more pictures to show y'all. Uh, the thumbnail will be the only thing that you'll have as far as the meat goes, just sit, sitting on a plate. Um, but it is a very dark meat and I had heard that it was a lot like beef and it is 100% true. I was slightly skeptical because um, people a lot of times say that something tastes like something and then it really don't. So I was a little skeptical of whether or not it would really taste like beef but uh, I am a huge beef fan. I am Mr. Steak and it was absolutely delicious. 
excuse me. It was uh, it, it was definitely everything that I was hoping for. It tastes kind of like a mild beef. And um, if you wouldn't have told me that it was duck breast, I might have believed that it was um, something akin to a lean cut of beef like filet mignon. I mean, it was just absolutely delicious. Now, th this uh, drake was kind of young, so he wasn't up to full size yet. And if you count just the leg quarters and the breast, I only got about close to two pounds of meat, which is not a lot. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try to every week or every couple of weeks, you know, just thin out as they get closer to being sexually mature, thin out the drakes so that way I don't have the problems that would come with having a bunch of mature drakes uh, around here. So I'm going to just every week do it and that way too it'll give me some time to learn and uh, to process them better. Uh, hopefully as we get into this more I'll get a picker and because I'd really like to use the skin because it's got a lot of fat on it and it's supposed to be really delicious and I love chicken skin so I can't even imagine how much I would love a roasted duck so um, but yeah if you're if you're thinking about getting Muscovies and um, raising them for meat 100% worth it. It is a delicious meat. Um, it's it's maybe not going to be the most efficient, uh, and they do take a while to get up to uh, a really good size. I know I'm going to let you know some of these get up bigger and uh, continually weigh and see how much meat they have on them. Um, but yeah, it's totally totally worth it. Uh, it, it. It'd be a little high dollar if you if you fed them. Uh, and you know just considering your time putting it into the processing but considering that mine are gonna be really forage base uh, I'm not gonna have a whole lot of feed in them so it's a uh, some of the, the the cheapest you know beef you can you can eat but uh, anyway just thought I'd make a video uh, letting y'all know about that and knowing about the process I, I, I will make a future video of um, just talking about the meat and talking about cooking it. Uh, one thing to note, and you'll have probably seen it in the thumbnail, that uh, the, the the meat's kind of on like the medium rare side. You don't have to worry uh, about cooking temperatures as much with Muscovy as you do with like, you know, chicken. And I don't know about like your um, mallard breed ducks. I don't know if they're necessarily something you have to worry about um, getting them cooked well done but I, I, I cooked the Muscovy medium rare I, I got the internal temperature I think it was up to um, like a hundred and and forty five which I normally always go by just eyeball um, whatever the uh, wh whatever it looks like to me you know as far as the um, wellness of a, of a steak but anyway uh, totally, totally worth it, um, especially if you like to eat. Uh, I, I may not eat the Muscovy just because of uh, the taste. I may not eat it like rare, rare, like I would a steak. But um, as far as, you know, around like the, the, the medium, medium well at the most, uh, medium rare. And golly, it's just so good. But anyway... Uh, if, if you like this video, if it was helpful, leave a like. And uh, if you got anything to add or any questions, please leave them down in the comment section. And uh, if, you, if you like this kind of stuff, homestead and permaculture, and uh, just kind of self-sufficiency, uh, subscribe to the channel. I drop a video like this every day. Uh, appreciate all y'all watching, and we'll see you in the next one.